questions we get asked all the time is, do the chairs promise an afterlife? And they do, but you have to go-kart Wraith's death to save your soul. And you can experience that by playing Coffin Dodgers by Milky Tea Studios. It's a Unity game. You can pick it up for $9.99 euros, uh, $10.99 US dollars, and $15 Canadian because Canada tax. Or you could have got this for free when Dell was giving it away. Either way, yep. it's facing the chair acquisition. What is it? Coffin Dodger sees you take on the role of saving one of seven quirky retirement villages residents, each racing their soul for a pimped up, racing for their soul in a pimped up mobility scooters against none other than the Grim Reaper itself. And of course, in order to get access to the afterlife, you need to pass the chair acquisition. One chair means that's garbage. Two chairs means that's bleh. Three chairs means that it's all right. It's pretty good. And four chairs means that it's awesome sauce. And of course, we got our categories of doom mixed with the working Chinese sense controls and fun. So let's lay into this already. Coffin Dodgers, did it make with the working? Well, it made with the working on the Humbuntu 1404980 powered 4K displayed octo core box of business um for a unity game that is something we don't normally get to say i was very pleased <laughs> um controller worked out of the box i'll talk about that a bit more later and um, resolutions everything was fine everything was smooth it was uh very refreshing as i said so give us four chairs yeah and the fedora 22 powered md 1090t nvidia gtx 980 box of business it, yeah Pretty much what Ben said. Out of the box. Everything worked great. Four chairs. Yep. And on the FX 8370E overclocked at 4 gigahertz with the GTX 970 Strix on Corora 21 64 bit. No complaints here. Out of the box. Four chairs. Oh, sweet. So that's four chairs for mix with the working. What about Shiny Sounds? We got to wonder what, what you're going to be dealing with when it's cart racing with elderly people trying to save their lives without running death. And well, it's, it's always refreshing to, first of all, see a Unity game. Every time I say Unity, take a shot. That really doesn't look like, well, um, a Unity game. There's <laughs> genuinely no stock art assets in this to be had, and that's really nice. I'm really digging just the art style with this. It's colorful. It'll make your eye pussies bleed out of your head organ. And it's cheerful, and it's happy, and... That that's a really interesting take uh, on aesthetic. Maybe you might want to say, considering you're racing against death. Uh, I think that plays out very well with the cartoony atmosphere of it. The tracks, hella detailed. Lots of stuff going on in the background and everywhere, almost to the point of distraction. So a lot of work went into that, and you know the levels they're all nice, except for that last level. I, I might talk about that in the fun section, and then we'll get around to. The background music. Well, okay. It's not bad, but I've listened to it so much now, I just immediately mute it and put on some Slayer. But if you're going to listen to it, it's their sound effects. One thing I'm definitely going to ding it a chair for is no matter what Turbo, Cock Smasher, EP, and Extender X2 technology upgrades you do to your mobility scooter, the engine sound is always meh, meh. And I, I want, like, big thundering, I don't know, something's going on with that. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty good. Going to give it three. You know, it it looks all right. Uh, it's not really mind-blowing, though. The, the, the main thing that's stopping me from giving it three chairs is really... I, I mean, I like the cartoony uh, art style well enough. The music is just kind of there. I mean... I, I can hear it, but I'm not really paying attention to it while I'm playing the game, because I'm going to, because, you know, you're trying to duck and weave through the fucking cheating ass CPU launching 10 million rockets at you. There's probably not a lot of time to actually appreciate the soundtrack. Uh, I mean, while, while, while it's, everything looks nice and well animated, it's not really mind blowing. It's just kind of meh. Um, it, it, it's on the upper end of two chairs, though. It's not quite three, but I wouldn't say it's on the lower end of two, so I'll just give it two. Yeah, the I didn't hate the music. Usually, well, lately, whenever we t whenever we get to this particular segment of the review, I tend to rant on about how the music sucks. But that's not the case. It's not completely annoying. It's kind of middle of the road. The art style, like Ben already mentioned, it's cartoony. It's fun. It's nothing to write home about. And no matter what you do. 
the frame rate is limited to 60, even with V-Sync off and no buffering, no nothing. It's capped at 60. I don't know what the hell is up with that, but that's enough for me to give it three chairs. All right, so that's two chairs for Shiny and Sounds. Up next is Control! Well, how did it control? It did control, and that's a good thing. I guess if you're um, insane, you might try to play this with the keyboard, but uh, it's not really good racing. Unfortunately, I couldn't Guilty. find Guilty. <laughs> yeah, racing will to give this a go with. So probably would work, but with the x clone controller, no issues whatsoever. I mean, it, everything gelled perfectly. Menu navigation, it's built for it. No problems. Loved it. Um... I kind of do a thing oh, oh, when you're racing. This is how I know if it's convincing with the controls and movement. It's kind of like the gangster lean, you know, if you're uh, yeah, going around a corner like that. If that game or any game does that to me, I'm like, boom, good job on you. And guess what? This one did that. Um, even though you're playing a octogenarian traveling at the <laughs> speed of smell, with rockets and all that, you you still get that sense of actual movement and physics and feel. I mean, there's sliding mechanics and all that, and they're easy enough to control. Controls are reasonably tight. Nothing to complain about at all whatsoever. Um, four chairs on that noise. Yeah, um, Pedro will go into this a lot more in depth, but it's nice to see a Unity game that actually has proper control mapping and, you know, <laughs> properly responsive controls. It's it's very, very tight. It's very, They're very well done. Uh, a lot of racing games, you generally have to struggle with some of the steering or some of the maneuvering. This one, not so much. It pretty much works out of the box. I'll give that four chairs. All right. And, uh, well, it's already been mentioned. It's a kart racer built on the Unity engine. And if those words strike fear into your heart, you are a good man slash woman. You know what's up. It's, uh, <laughs> But it's not the case with this particular game. When it comes to Coffin Dodgers, the physics are cohesive the controls are actually reliably reliable actually <laughs> it's when it comes Show to title. a unity game when it comes to a unity game this is something that is worthy of praise so good on the guys from milky tea studios for actually sorting out the unity physics engine and getting the controls as tight as at risk and as responsive as they are for me it gets four chairs <laughs> all right so that's four chairs for controls and finally our subjective category fun and did you have fun well i kind of wish i could say the uh fun was actually reliably reliable but uh, <laughs> it's kind of a mixed bag baby and it depends on how you want to look at it Single player in this game is fuck and all short. Uh, you can cut through it in like two arms without really trying. Uh, you just sit back and like, oh, this is fun. This what do you mean that's the end? Balls. <laughs> Not very happy about that. Um, there is like this alternate racing mode that they've tacked on that I, to this day, do not have any idea what you're supposed to be doing. And apparently no one else does either. I mean, the few times... Well, actually, let me get to this point. Um, here's where the fun does come in uh, when you want to play with your mates and get together. They have made joining a multiplayer game has went from nigh impossible because they originally started having the U.S. and E.U. servers where they could not uh, get together and get their enzymes collaborating, which was stupid. <laughs> Pants on heads retarded. <laughs> and because uh, me and P-Man were trying to play, guess what? That didn't work. And now they've got that fixed. You can create a game. Boom, everyone can jump in. No futzing about with that. And this is where the fun comes in. Because if you can get people that you know that have the game together to play it, it's a bit of a blast. I mean, it's comical, it's fun, and it, you can just really screw each other up. I mean, it's a, very reminiscent of, like, the original Mario Kart, except you don't have your turtle shells. You have missiles and guns and shields and old people on mobility scooters. It's completely different, but it's the same thing. But the fun part kind of comes down to if you don't have, you know, friends that you want to organize a game with, because currently, right now, at time of recording, it is a just desolate. There, there's nothing there. No one's playing it. They're trying it's to... It's like Google+. Plus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost town. Um, people are trying to get in the forums and organize to get together. There's a matchmaking system, which I've just let run and waited, and nothing ever came of that. But... <laughs> 
yeah, if, if you're looking for a large online community to race against, and unless you don't have one of those built in with your friends, you're going to have a bad time. So I'm going to give this two chairs for fun, but I'm going to give it two chairs with an Astrid, an Asteroid, or whatever her name was from Fringe, because, like I said, if you've got a group, or if you can find, if the multiplayer community grows to a decent extent, I can see this being incredibly fun. But currently, <clears> right now, like I said, very short single player, and multiplayer, while amazingly fun, is also amazingly empty. Yeah, uh, one, one thing to add about the multiplayer uh, that I really appreciated is it works through Steam, which is the best thing ever. So many multiplayer you, games, oh, you have to go through their stupid lobbying system that wasn't really well thought out. It's, the interface kind of sucks. Steam has this uh, jump into your game capabilities. Developers, please leverage it. It's amazing. I can, I just want to be able to go to my friends list and say, oh, hey, Ben's playing Coffin Dodgers. I'm going to jump in on this game. Um, and you can do that. That definitely gets in a chair. Um, it is decent when, when you, when you boil out all the crap, it is a decently fun car racing game. I, I realize Linux has like six billion and seven of them, <laughs> but competent games need to be recognized. And this is a very, very well done game. The what my one main gripe is, oh my God, that fucking CPU is just such a goddamn cheer. I've rage quit a couple times. <laughs> I've, I, I've literally actually snapped a keyboard in half because this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I switched back to the old mechanical one. I was using the Logitech one after I spilled a bunch of water on there. You might remember it mm. for when Pedro lost his shit. But <laughs> there, see, just like that. Um, but yeah, no, I I got so mad. I literally picked up the keyboard and snapped it in half, just because I was right close to winning. Four rockets just came right out, slamming in the ass. Couldn't recover. Oh man. Yeah, the, the, it's it's pretty rage-inducing. But like I said, very well done. If you have, like Ven said, if you have friends, this you're going to have a blast. So I'll give this three cheers. It is competent, yes. But to address what Ven was saying, uh, according to Steam charts, there are currently four players playing the game. Over the past 24 hours, it peaked at 19 players. The all-time peak was on March... Uh, no, sorry, April 1st which was 318 players. April so, Fools. This one is, I think you can chalk it up as being dead. <laughs> but like I said, it's competent. And while it's competent, it's not mind-blowing. So it's one of those games that when it comes to the fun, I kind of hate it because it's not terrible and it's not mind-blowing. It's mediocre. The CPU, like Jordan already mentioned, cheats like a motherfucker. I was in second place all throughout the race, and when it came to the last lap, the person that was in front of me, because it wasn't the Grim Reaper, it was one of the other randoms, got six of those slow down paddles in a row. Six of them! At that point, it has to be fucking cheating. And, well, it is a card game, so if you get together with your mates on some multiplayer, you're probably going to lose a few of them by the end of the day. Just saying. But, yeah, it's it's Mario Kart or Tux Racer without the Mario or Tux and you're racing old people against the Grim Reaper. I don't... It's mediocre. Two chairs. Alright, so that's two chairs for fun. One additional thing to note about the gameplay is uh the item randomization you will get the same items over and over again yes. multiple times i've gotten nothing mm -hmm. but like six or seven oil slicks it's like no i need a boost i need a shield no oil <laughs> slicks you take it and you like it uh anyways yeah that's two chairs for fun and finally we get three chairs for this game that that is a pretty solid pretty good yeah check it out yeah, uh, uh gentlemen final thoughts yeah, definitely a check it out on that yeah uh, if it goes on sale, if you see this 50% off, just buy it to keep it in your inventory just in case. Uh, it's definitely something we might revisit and play maybe in the after shows now and again. It, it, it has split screen too. So if right. Uh, well, that's another thing we should mention. Over. I mean, it has a four player split. So, I mean, it'd be good for a Steam box. Cardigan. Yeah. Cardigan. Brilliant. Didn't even mention that. I mean, if you got that, but that kind of boils down to if you got some friends coming over to play that. So, and if you want to lose those friends by the end of the day, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that could happen too. But yeah, if, if it goes on sale, I mean, throw some wet sink in this thing's face organ, P Man. Yeah, it's a definite check it out with the caveat that it's not going to blow your mind. And you may really want to have some people that you know for a fact will join you for some online multiplayer because the campaign's really short and there are no randoms playing it. Like I said earlier, there's currently four people playing the game. Four. And that's three of those are us just idling in it right now. So. <laughs>